Humanity has embarked on a race to achieve climate neutrality by 2050. Tackling this major challenge involves exploring new energy avenues in all sectors of the economy. Hydrogen in its low carbon form is presently emerging as one of the likely pillars of the energy transition. Hydrogen holds the potential to remove CO2 emissions in such hard to decarbonize sectors as heavy industry and mobility. By 2050, hydrogen could meet 15 to 20% of global final energy demand. Despite this promising outlook, technological leaps and substantial cost reductions still have to be achieved to bridge the gap with established but high emitting technologies. Massive investments are expected in the next 10 years all along the value chain. While already substantial, direct financial support from governments will not solve on its own this financing challenge. Involvement of the financial sector will be crucial to support this growth when and where needed. In face of these mounting challenges, Natix CIB's ambition is to support the sustainable development of the hydrogen industry through financial innovation and expertise to channel capital from the financial sector. To meet this ambition, we have adopted a threefold approach. First, invest to build a strong industry expertise. With a team of 20 experts combining skills across the entire hydrogen value chain from generation transport and storage to end users. With this deep knowledge of the value chain, our teams are able to design tailor-made financial solutions for our clients. Second, ensure an active institutional implication. We have active membership in the Hydrogen Council and the European Clean Hydrogen Alliance to contribute in guiding the sector trends. Third, build strategic dialogue with all industry participants, worldwide leaders from the energy and industry sectors, financial investors willing to step into the sector and tech companies developing innovative applications around hydrogen. Natixi CIB has a strong reach and is recognized for its financial expertise and its innovation capabilities. A strong reach as our presence is both local and global. Our reach ranges from specialized players and local projects to world industry leaders and hydrogen projects with a global reach. In France, our offering sits within the broader framework of BPC Group and benefits from the strong local networks of Banque Populaire and Caisse d'Epargne with the French hydrogen startups. We provide global advisory, financing, investment banking and capital market services to support the growth and the ambitions of these players and to channel capital to the hydrogen industry. Hydrogen is already transactional at Netexis. We supported the IP of Hydrogen de France in June 21 and the IP of Afner Energy last February. Both names are key players in decarbonization and hydrogen production. We are also currently involved in several ECM and m and mandates across Europe, which we expect to successfully close before the end of the year. On the debt side, the recent announcement of large hydrogen projects in chemicals, cement and steel production suggests the whole sector is about to take a key step. What's more, in Europe, public policies around hydrogen are evolving towards systemic support for demand upscaling, in particular in heavy industries. We are supporting many projects requiring financing and provide large investor base access through our unique real assets private debt platform. Tangible debt opportunities are arising and Atexis is today arranging and structuring transactions in the US, in Europe and in the Middle East. Finally, we understand the stakes involved in the hydrogen sector. We invest to develop the required expertise at a financial, sectoral and innovation level. And we are supporting our clients in their strategies and in their projects in the sector. Strategic dialogue with industry leaders is a key pillar of our sectoral ambition. We are pleased to be with Erwin Perfornis at Erlikey's headquarters to share his vision of the key opportunities and challenges associated with hydrogen sector's development. Hello Erwin. Good morning, Antoine. How does Erlikey view the uh, hydrogen sector from the perspective of the energy transition? Being a leader in hydrogen for the last uh, 50 years, Air Liquide has been uh, among the first players to identify the critical role of hydrogen for the energy transition. Over the last 20 years, we've been a pioneer to develop a hydrogen solution to decarbonize the industrial sectors, as well as to drive the uh, clean mobility revolution. That's also the reason why we've decided to create five years ago the Hydrogen Council, which was meant to embark our industrial peers 
in this uh, hydrogen journey, uh, to mobilize also the financial uh, ecosystem, and to work closely with governments in order to put hydrogen at the heart of their energy uh, strategies. So today in 2022, we are quite uh, pleased to see that uh, hydrogen is center stage in this energy transition, and we see actually an acceleration of the number of projects around the world across the full value chain. What are Eliquid's current uh, and projected investments in the field of low carbon hydrogen? Hydrogen is a cornerstone in the climate strategy of Air Liquid. Uh, as we've announced last year, the group is targeting to invest 8 billion across the full value chain in the coming years in order to decarbonize the industrial processes of our customers as well as to enable the decarbonation of the mobility sectors. So our unique expertise in this field and a broad industrial footprint is actually giving us the opportunity to take early position in this ecosystem. We've already invested in quite a number of projects over the past few years, and this is what has allowed us to start last year the largest PEM electrolyzer in the world in Canada. We're already scaling up those electrolyzers to 200 megawatts and working on low carbon hydrogen at the same time based on CCS, such as in uh, projects uh, Portos in Netherlands with some partners. At the same time, it is very important for us to also drive the demand creation. So we keep investing with other partners, uh, with consortiums, into the investment of retail infrastructure, typically in Germany, in Korea, to enable the uptake of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Another good example is our project in Paris, which is uh, actually a fleet project uh, uh, called HiSetco, where we enable the large-scale deployment of taxi and commercial vehicle fleets. Thank you. I will now let my colleague uh, Ivan ask more questions. Good morning, Erwin. Hello, Ivan. So how does Air Liquid approach the financing of its low-carbon hydrogen projects? In order to enable a net zero world by 2050, hydrogen is bound to represent a significant share of the energy mix by then. This is going to call for massive investment across the full value chain. And already by 2030, we see the need for more than 700 billion euro of investment. Mob mobilizing the financial community at large is thus essential. This is the reason why last year in 2021, with a number of uh, other strategic partners, we've decided to launch the first dedicated infrastructure fund for hydrogen. This fund is uh, meant to invest around 1.5 billion euro in the coming years to trigger, catalyze large scale projects uh, on the production side as well as in the mobility sector. So we firmly believe that today this is the right time for uh, financial investors to get into the game, to take positions in pace with uh, industrial players and government roadmaps. Thank you very much, Erwin. Thank you. At NetSix CIB, we have the ambition, expertise and innovation capabilities to actively support the hydrogen sector's development. We stand ready to accompany our clients in their projects to help tackle the global challenge of climate change.